So we're having a paint party, and this guy is not invited. Hey guys, Levi for the Rag Company, and I am here to tell you you need to stop using these dusters. Now we know they're easy, we know they're fun, and a lot of people seem to enjoy them, but they are wreaking havoc on your vehicle's finish. And when you put a lot of money into show cars like this, like this beautiful 68 Camaro, you're actually adding more damage every time you wipe it down. So me being a detailer, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. So the way these dusters work is that they actually have anti-static properties and they usually have a product inside of them, an oil-based product of some sort. And what this does is as it picks up, it holds and traps the dust. And a lot of folks just take it, wrap it up, throw it back in their vehicle, come to the next show, they wipe it down. And now you've got a very contaminated, dirty product that you're now putting on top of the finish again. I've done a lot of classic cars, but I've seen dusters in cars that have been some of the original dusters. Some of the original dusters from the 80s that have never been washed, never been cleaned, and folks still use them because they're told not to wash it. And that's true because you wash out all the protective qualities that this once had. But again, they're not cleaning them properly. So if you are using one, make sure you're cleaning it properly. But if we use something simple like a towel and a quick detailer, the technology is far greater and it's a lot safer on your paint. So one of the great things is that these products add slickness, gloss, and protection while removing particles away from the surface safely and effectively. This doesn't do any of that. None of those things. This just takes dirt off the car and puts scratches back in. So we're gonna make this car really nice, really shiny. And one of the fun things you can do is actually combine these products. Now, again, you can use either one of these by themselves and get great results. Or like I said, we can get crazy here and it's gonna get weird. So Jimmy's gonna be in the shot because he's gonna get a nice close up of what the towel's doing. So I've already just, I'm gonna spray the surface here, right? Then I'm gonna take my towel, I'm gonna set it on the surface and as I come across, I'm going to be slightly rolling that towel up. When I roll that towel up in a way, I'm not creating a hard line for the dirt of the towel to stop at. I'm giving that dirt and stuff away from the surface. Then I'm flipping my towel to a clean side and then I'm just lightly buffing the residual away. You can flip that towel and you can keep wiping, but again, roll that edge of that towel and that'll help pull that dirt away from the surface. Also, don't use any pressure. If you're using pressure, that'll give you a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure points and it'll actually induce marring of the surface. So make sure you're rolling that towel and then very light pressure when you're wiping the surface. sense yeah I'm just I mean, just using a product it, I'm learning because I'm seeing that when you put the spray on rather than going back and forth yeah I'm doing one wipe across one wipe across. yeah and then I'm finishing up doing a just doing a light buff yeah. on everything just to get anything left over yeah. but the one wipe across is technically what you would be doing with your duster, the difference is this is providing lubrication, protection, and slickness. So if you feel the back, feel these fenders with the back of your hand. Oh yeah. Much slicker than if you feel the roof up here where it's still got some dust and stuff on it. So you've got a slipperier surface is what you've done. So now you've got a clean car with a slippery surface so nothing's gonna stick to it. That's the goal, that's the reasons. Gotcha. And I have a pile of towels just because that way, you know, you've got eight sides, so you can fold the towel in all different ways. And if it's not too dirty, you can keep going. But if it's like very dirty, then it's something that you're like, that's why you have enough towels. So I usually do two per side and then one extra just to do a quick walk around, wipe down when the car's clean. So.
All right guys, so we used a couple great quick detailers, a couple great different types of towels, and I can effectively say we have replaced the car duster. Now, if you know somebody that is using one or has one, show them this video, but also put it in the comments below. We wanna know who else has been using a car duster because they're all out there. We know who you are. Show them that video. Make sure you like us, share us, subscribe us, smash that bell, do all that stuff. And we'll catch you next time right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.